Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I wanted to show you how you can create a virtual DVD burner for Windows. A virtual disk drive which works as a DVD burner. However, it does not burn on a real DVD or CD. Instead, it creates an ISO file. And you might ask, why in the hell do we need such a virtual DVD burner? And recently I wanted to test out the backup and restore function here in Windows. And there's a possibility to create a system repair disk and it cannot create an ISO file or a USB drive. It really wants to use a CD burner or DVD burner. And my computer does not have a DVD burner at all. Most modern computers don't come with any drive at all. So I'm not able to create this disk here. And so I had the idea that there should be a software which can create a virtual DVD burner, which we can use in such a software like the backup and restore function here, which will then create no disk, but an ISO file then, which we can use later. Okay. Uh, I had a little search on the internet. There are several software products. Some are uh, cost money, but I found this one here, which is free and it's called Total Mounter. The homepage and also the system requirements, they look a little bit old fashioned. It tells here uh, that it runs on Windows 2000 Vista N7. However, I tried it out and it also works perfectly on Windows 11. And despite telling us here that we can download the trial here, it's actually a free software and you can use it totally for free. Okay, I've already downloaded the software and installed it. And then you can start it here via the start menu. And once you run the software, we now can create a virtual DVD drive and also a virtual rewritable drive. So we click on mount here and then virtual CD DVD. And then we uh, can configure our virtual burner. So we can create a new file. We can create a different disk type, CD or DVD. In our case, we will use CD, uh, but you can also select DVD. Then you can uh, increase the size here. Okay, so let's select CD. Uh, here you can uh, configure the size, which size the later ISO file should have. And then select Browse here and select the location where we want to store the ISO file. Okay, that's our for our rescue disk. So just uh, just enter rescue, click on save. And after all is set up, we just click finish. And now if we have a look in, our, in the Explorer, we have a new drive here. And you see, as you can see, Windows recognizes this one here as DVD rewritable drive. And with this drive here, we can now create our virtual system repair disk. So the dialog here also uh, already shows uh, our DVD rewritable drive. And now we just have to click create disk. And actually this is um, uh, now created very fast because, well, it's all on the hard drive, so it doesn't take much time. Okay, um, the disk is now created and all data goes into our ISO file here. So, okay, uh, now we have created it, close, hit okay. And if we look in the Explorer here in our actual disk now, uh, we can see that all the files are here now in our ISO file. And if we unmount our drive here, oh, let's do that. Now the disk drive should be gone. Let's have a look. Okay. And Here's our ISO file, which now has the size of 200, uh, 527 megabytes. And now we can use this ISO file, uh, for example, to mount it with the Windows function here. And here are all our files. And so every software, every DVD burning software can use this virtual drive and create ISO files out of it. Okay, software is called Total Mountain. I will put the link down in the video description here to our blog post and there you can find the link to Total Mounter. Okay, well, and that's it.